My bad, guys. Apparently, my live commentary was not clicked on. I don't know how long it's been that way. Um, but, yeah, we're going to be doing the Pathumulu dungeon, and we are on layer one. I'm afraid to use my beckoning bell, because last time I used it, it knocked me offline. But, uh... Let's see just how difficult things are before we can go to try and use that. Oh, we can light lamps, so that means we can come back. So let's at least try this and see, hopefully we don't get knocked offline. Pretty basic so far. Yeah, that looks like oil. He was probably gonna throw it once I stepped right there. Blow me up. I Means they're probably gonna try and do me dirty. Oh, I'm having flashbacks to the Dark Souls one. Oh no! They're definitely not trying to do me dirty. Oh shit, that's like some kind of necromancer. Oh, oh never mind, that was the sinister bell lady. I could have been invaded since she was there. Oh my, what the hell are you? You got like a teeny tiny, like pseudo dragon's tooth. Oh, I saw you about drag. That guy is straight up in the news. Let's deal with these guys throwing shit at me. That's annoying. Okay, you got my attention now, big guy. That guy has no genitals. Let's go. Is that it? My freight device. Somewhere in here, a door has opened. I do not know where that might be, though.
that's, that's another thing that can appear when you try and use the bell. I don't know what its purpose is, so... Let's go right. Right was not right. Sounds delicious. You're just walking a straight up cesspool. Could that door, that so-called op open door, be? I would very much like to know. Although it is giving me ammunition, so. It's even further back, because I'm not seeing it. Yep, that was it. Must have been. Why else would there be two lamps right next to each other? Oh, that's weird. It wasn't it? I guess. Straight up dead end. That's where I spawned in at, though. Why are there lamps so close to each other? Is that a door? Well, it's a door, but is it open? Well, it's unlocked, so it might be either it's the door or it's on the way to the door. chill. Nice hands. I feel like the fucking gatekeeper from Oblivion Shivering Isles. Okay, let's try and get a dodging style down here. Oh shit, how did I do so much damage? Does he just have like no health? Right to that one. Seems like they got really good tracking on everything in this game. Oh, from software games. 
the butt stab will never be not a thing. Gemstone. Okay, so it looks like we get rewarded good shit whenever we get through here. Onward! Let us seg. And there we go. to see how far we can get before we are forced to stop the lack of health regeneration. I mean, honestly, I mean, my weapon right here slowly regenerates health, so if anything, I could just keep starting and coming and going and then just endlessly keep going without the need to keep healing. Okay, that's the door we got unlocked. Let's go find a dude and kill him. First, I see it shiny in here. Nope, that's just. Uh, yeah, it is. Oh, what the hell just hit me? And now I got poison arrows. I mean, poison knives, I guess. You know what? I'm not seeing any bows and arrows and shit. You'd think there'd at least be some crossbows. Especially crossbows, actually. I guess they just wanted to go full on with the guns. dead end or what? I'm missing something. Look at these statues. Dobby can join choir. All right. Oh, <sighs> I really don't know. This must be a dead end. I just heard someone land. Whoa! What's going on? Oh, pressure plate. Okay, these guys are coming from somewhere. I heard a dude land and then shit starts fire, and I must have just accidentally pulled a Zago from up there. Huh. Where the world am I supposed to go? Obviously not in there yet. Oh. Yeah. Whoa! This is full of surprises. I don't remember a ladder being in here. Oh well. What's going on? Oh shit, that frame rate looks 
frame rate loss right then. That's a first. Okay, what were you protecting? Alright, two ritual blood. That's good. That means I can perform another ritual when I want to. Still, where did you come from? Wondering if they're just respawning, quite honestly, at this point. Oh, you know what? I hear the bell lay. That's most likely because I've kept my bell on, so someone could, if they wanted to, technically try to invade me here, but I doubt that they will. Ah, oh, so let's get rid of that. Because no one's gonna come. There will be no help here. The only way I would get help here is if I co op or whenever the game's more pop- I mean, not more popular, but whenever it's been out longer, since this is literally just the third day the game's been out. <laughs> Looks like the chick- the bell chick stayed even after I disrupted it. I still get invaded technically. I oh, know she's uh Either she's summoning them or they're just respawning. Am I even getting any experience for killing these guys? Uh, nope, he died instantly. That chick was just part of the environment, most likely. Because she was just summoning dudes. That one's got a mace. Is there any throwing shit at me, dudes? No? Alright, let's kill his ass as fast as possible so we can make our way to the boss. Oh. That's an unexpected moveset. Is he just, like, straight up naked? He is. Oh, my. That's a little unpredictable moveset. Fucking naked ass, dude. They have like no fire resistance though, as you can see. This is all in fucking fat ass dude. Now I gotta grab his junk to get my item. More ritual blood, alright. Unfortunately, now I don't have the fire. I was should have probably not used this fire yet, so I would have had it for the boss fight, but oh well. Shit, there's three of them. Okay, it's just three of those big guys. I was about to say, is it? Oh, you gotta be kidding me, though. This is stupid. Oh, he has got a gun. Try him through the wall. Shotgun, uh, let's do it. Oh my. 
I could get them off of here. They damn follow me. Shoot them and they'll be like, oh, I better go down there. Okay, we actually just killed the chieftain. So, he was, I guess, the hard one. I mean, that means the other ones won't be as hard. Now we actually just got the root chalice that we needed for one of the other head tombstones. So we just pretty much unlocked another dungeon. I do believe. Just keep on descending into the bowels of Earth. Layer 3. If I should keep going though with the health as the way it is. Probably leave and come back. Alright guys, and we are heading back now that I came back and refueled on just came back and it would, so it would give me the vials I had stored in my chest. So we can keep our dungeon crawl a-going. Chairs creaking. Alright, let's try out this weapon. I upgraded it a little bit. Ooh. Let's 
try it in the shortened mode so we'll do thrust damage. Less things have thrust armor. Okay, 114. And this one, let's see what its basic damage is right now. Find someone and hit him. Oh, what in the hell is that? Not taking much damage, is it? Can't move. It's like a pseudo gaping dragon, kinda, from Dark Souls 1. Just a plant version. Plant alien thingy. It's easy to get caught up in his legs, though. Alright, what did you draw? Arcane Haze. What is that? Okay, it's not a consumable. Oh, it's a material. Okay, it's actually used in a Holy Chalice ritual, so it's a good thing we killed it, huh? Guys, doing some magic voodoo stuff. Get this bloody burlap sap. Some bolt paper. Let's put that on there for the boss, so we can use it in the boss fight. Okay, 106 is the base damage for that one. An unheavy mode is on this one. We will do 71. That's not that good, actually. Let's get you out of there. Heavy moded, 80. And then for this one, 109. But to be fair, I do have a thing on this weapon that increased more stuff up on this to upgrade it, so. Who knows? For now, this is my go to weapon, I guess. And the cleaver is just OP because they wanted to make the weapon of everyone's hype be really good. I'm getting damaged by being distracted, I guess, so I need to pay a little bit more attention. <sighs> There's another one of those things. Uh, these guys are just gonna keep responding until I kill that bell chick, though, so I wanna go kill it now. Gemstone. I need to figure out how to get out there. She's just spawning so many dudes. So right there, I'm getting XP for it, even though if it is half XP. There's a ladder. Might not be one. Let's go. Just keep trucking along. Oh, whoa! Oh, I can't see nothing. Fucking camera angle. What in the world. Shit, yeah, you just straight up get hung on it. Like, they, you do not clip through them. Stuff's getting a lot of defi like resistance. I'm doing like a lot less oxygen. Yeah, I'm 
more arcane haze. Really do need to figure out how to get up there. Oh, well I'm stupid. Ritual blood, that's always good. I'm assuming since I'm getting so much of this stuff that uh, later on chalices and the things that we want to do will cost a ton of it stuff. Ooh, can I use this? Oh, that's cool. Did it actually do anything though? Can I like lead a, something down there and then just. It's probably just for a fun thing. Oh, look at this nicely kept hedge. Hank would be proud of this lawn if only it had grass. Whoa, where are you? Most likely an enemy, but I don't want to hit you just in case. Okay, I'm hitting you. Why'd you drop? Bullets, a lot of them, too. That guy's weapon. It looks like a searing piece of metal, like searing hot version of his weapon. Oh, and that it is. This could have made a nice boss room. Some more tomb mold. How does that stuff even do? It's probably an ingredient. It is. That way that you have to go through the dungeons to a certain extent to get materials to go on to the next. Right on to the boss. Messenger chilling right there. Hmm. Some colorful, colorful roots. Let's see, I'm not 
sure which way, if the other way or this way was the right way. If this, I'm assuming this wasn't the right way, just so I could go see if there's any stuff over here. Never mind, that's the right way. I hear some thumping. Oh, no, it's not. Right. Hmm. Let's go back for a second. I want to go fight the boss. And I'm not seeing any boss. Get segmented up right here. Alright, this is probably the boss room. Never know if they're going to be poisonous. Yep, that's a boss. Giant ass rat. No, watchdog of the old lords. Shit, that was my chance. Oh my god.
All right, and we have the next chalice. We haven't even used the rooted one, but now we have the central one. All right. I guess the standard chalice, just going through it, unlocks all these other ones. I'm not sure if they're similar in the way that they just keep going and going and going. Because I have yet to do any of them. I'm just keep trucking on through this one. They say they're procedurally generated, but... This seems pretty normally generated to me, if you ask me. Maybe this isn't the procedurally generated one. Maybe this is giving me the chalices to go to them. Who knows? Honestly, this looks like it might be a dead end, finally. Is there no more... No, 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 now I think of it. Now that I think of it, there's that area back there. I'm not getting much experience from these bosses, quite honestly. Probably because they're not, you know, boss bosses. I mean, they're bosses, but they're more or less just like pseudo bosses. They're bosses, but they're not just like main campaign bosses. You could probably do the game without ever doing them. So in here. Huh. Oh, now here's the door. Hmm. I really like the rapid fireness of this weapon. Just get up and train people and start hacking away. Oh, that's a big chest. Can I parry his gun? That I cannot. That was a stupid thing to do. Try. seen a chest like this. Maybe this is the end of the dungeon, and it's like, here's your reward. Ooh. Let's, let's see what we get. Oh, that's like a coffin, more or less. Yeah, that's a... Ritual blood. Gee, thanks. All that, all that is... All that, is, uh, you know, the big ornate coffin chest, and then the sound effect, just two ritual blood. I mean, come on. I thought I was about to get some, like, unique, you know, like, crazy good weapon. Well, no. I didn't. Oh well. Where to now? Assuming that's where I fought the boss at, and I don't need to go down there. There's nothing else up here, I don't think. So... It's either, it's either that's where I need to hop down to, or that's the end of this dungeon. Oh, nope, I haven't been down here. Is any lower that could just blew me away. Dungeon crawl. It's the greatest crawl of all. Okay, 
Well, I've been here. Uh, That's just a randomly placed dead guy. Yeah, I've been here. Hmm. Well, guys, it looks like that was all of the basic labyrinth. We got the chain. We went, went through all these areas. And I'm assuming it looks like there's more room, but that's probably because they wanted to keep the same interface throughout all of them. But because I, I was pretty much a dead end anywhere I went. So. Yeah. But, uh. Looking at the bottom of the bottom right of this, this is Chalice Glyph 35 XBG 876. I'm assuming that means, like, it may actually be procedurally generated. Because it says square as in share dungeon, so. Well, I'll share it. Make it open. Make public. Settings are permanent. Does that mean I've already completed it? You guys can. There we go. Conductor made is me. Privacy is open. If you guys wanna, if you guys wanna go and do this dungeon, then you know there's all the information you probably need. I'm not sure how to do it honestly. Move chalice, expunge dungeon, and erase progress. Ooh, I don't want to do that at all. But yeah, that's there for you guys. I'm assuming. And yeah. So, guys, if you like that little dungeon crawl, little marathon-ish thing, then let me know. And if you wanna, if you like, if you wanna, you know, if you like the dungeon, wanna try it out for yourself, be you feel free to. And if you wanna stick around and see any other dungeons I may come out with, and any other videos and all that good stuff, be sure to click that subscribe button so you can stick around and see future content. And as always, I will see you in the next video.